Hey, what's up everyone? It's Corey here and uh, just doing a quick vlog on uh, Monday, April 1st. It is April Fool's Day and uh, actually I was able to pull an April Fool's joke on my students today. Um, I taught sixth graders and um, basically every day I do a greeting, you know, just kind of asking how they're doing and how's the weather and, you know, what is the date and that kind of stuff. And then um, after all of that, I basically announced to the kids that I had some bad news and that I was actually leaving um, Korea. I was going to go back to America tomorrow morning and that caught everybody off guard. They were like, oh my God. No, don't go. No, why? Why are you go? No, don't don't do it. And they were like so upset and so like angry and sad all at the same time. And it was just interesting to see their response to, to my um, my little joke. And then, uh, you know, like after 10 seconds of them like whining and crying about like, oh, my God, no, don't do it. Um, you know, I was just basically like April Fool's gotcha. Ha 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 ha. And then they were like, oh my God, okay, he's joking, what the hell? And then, you know, I, I explained to them what April Fool's Day is and why it's such a big thing and um, why, like, especially Americans celebrate that, like, all over the place, in the workplace, at school, at home, with families, um, you know, with friends, whatever. And they were just like, ah, oh, okay, okay, so we get it. Like, they were like, yeah, you got us, like, that was good. And then I'm like, yeah, that's right, I did get you, because um, you guys were about to cry. <laughs> um, so it was funny, and uh, it was a nice way to start off my sixth grade classes today. And then um, another thing today, uh, because it's the first of the month, so um, each month with my classes, I do a um, like competition, basically, between all the other classes. So in... At my elementary school, for the sixth graders, there's six different classes and um, that I teach. And uh, each class is basically competing against each other. So, um, you know, with their, uh, like, behavior and homework and, like, participation and stuff, um, you know, whoever is the best gets the most stars at the end of the month. And then the first day of the, um, the following month, they will have a free day basically. And so today was that day and my 6-1 class, they're the one that got it. And um, basically we went to the forest, which is behind my school. Uh, my school is at the foothills of the mountains. And so behind my school is, there's no buildings anywhere. It's just all forest. And so uh, we went out there for the entire period, you know, and the kids, got to run around and just do whatever and you know just because they earned it and part of doing this is to just basically help alleviate any kind of stress they have and then to just kind of also bond a little bit with my students and you know um, be a little bit closer with them and have fun and stuff you know because uh, these kids you know they're only 11 12 years old and they're already under so much stress before they even go to middle school, you know, their parents are sending them to Hagwans to learn English till like 10 o'clock at night, you know, and, and they're at school from eight in the morning and then they do it all day long and then they come home like after 10 at night. I don't know Americans, like adults that don't do that. I don't, I don't know people that work that long. And, um, you know, these are just kids who've been around for about a decade, you know what I mean? And so, um, it, it's just uh, very stressful on them and uh, they're about to go to middle school and then it's just going to get even worse and the tests are going to get harder and the studying is going to get more intense and um, you know they're developing uh, into young adults soon you know they're going to be going into puberty and um, you know, adolescence and all that stuff. And it's just going to be a crazy time. And the le the last thing they need is just like extra stress. And so, you know, kind of to war uh, reward my kids, they get to go out in the forest and have fun for free um, and just do whatever. And uh, they loved it. Like, you know, uh, 
my co-teacher is actually the one that started this, so they're familiar with the whole competition thing each month. And then um, this is the first time they did it with me. Uh, my co-teacher came along too, obviously. But, you know, with me there, it was, like, funny because they were just like, oh, Corey teacher, Corey teacher, come look at this, come see this. This is where we found a dead cat and, you know, and then, uh, hey, watch me climb this tree. And I'm like, hey, don't climb that tree because you're going to fall and impale yourself on that branch, like, there. And, you know, so um, it, it was just, like, a way to have fun with the kids. And, you know, I was, like, picking up sticks and, like, throwing it, like, spears. And so it, it was just, like basically fun in the woods with kids for about 30 minutes and um and that's all they needed they 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 had so much fun and they just let loose and what was nice too was um because these kids are at that age where like flirting and stuff happens um i mean you know how like when kids flirt like boys flirt with girls like their idea of flirting is not really like Oh, ha, 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 hi, I like you, I'm gonna, like, poke you. No, their their idea is, like, hey, I like you, I'm gonna put a bunch of dirt down your neck. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna grab a handful of leaves and then shove it into your face. Um, but I mean it in a good way, because I like you. Like, so, um, you know, I witnessed, uh, like, a handful of sixth graders doing that. They were out there, and it was, like, the same guys doing the same, like, evil things to this to the same girls and then the girls were like ah, ah. but at the same time they're like ah, ah. do it again do it like you know the, like they want them to do it again like oh, okay i understand he's being mean and abusive to me but it means he likes me and i like him so i want him to do it and so it's like like you know i remember back in the day like that that's just how kids are you know they they don't know how to show their affection in, in a more mature way other than, hey, I like you a lot, so I'm going to throw bugs down your shirt. and But that means I like you, you know? So it was funny. Um, yeah, and uh, well, anyways, um, you know, it, it was a good Monday. Oh, and then, sorry, I forgot to mention, I'm wearing this hat, Battle, at Hogwar Battle of Hogwarts. Um, my friend Mike, he gave this to me for free. This is actually my first time wearing it. Um, you know, he, he's moving back to the States soon. And I actually went to college with him in DC and he's been over here for five years and he actually helped me get this job too. Like he, he's the one that told me about it and all that stuff and, um, introduced me to the people that I needed to apply to, um, with SMOE. But, um, yeah, so he, he, him and his wife are going back to his, like, hometown, like, way out in the middle of Pittsburgh in the farmlands, and, um, so he is trying to get rid of a lot of stuff. I actually bought this, um, this desk lamp off of them for, like, 7,000 won, um, you know, which is pretty cheap. It's, like, under seven bucks, like, you know. It's like Ikea status or something. And, and it's a really nice lamp. Like this lamp, I think in the stores, costs like 30 to $40. So I got it at a good deal. And then he threw in the hat for free. And then I took it just because it's Harry Potter. If it was anything else, I probably would have declined. But, um, you know, and this is not even really my style of hat. Like it's got like this little string, like pull string thing in the back. And just like the color. It's like a weird denim style. And like, I don't know. It's... Like, I don't really wear hats like that, but it's Harry Potter, so, you know, I gotta rock Harry Potter in Korea, right? So, um, yeah, uh, yeah, speaking of, you know, movies and stuff, uh, it's Sunday night, it's 8 p- no, I'm sorry, Sunday night has already happened, it's 8 in the morning Monday in the States, so Sunday night happened already, um, and that means the season finale of The Walking Dead has gone by. And um, what's weird is I haven't seen any Facebook posts about it, so I'm not sure what is going on. But, um, you know, uh, I'm behind anyway, so it doesn't even really matter. Um, I, I need to find a way to watch the last five weeks worth of episodes. I've been over here <clears throat> and um, I can't find anywhere to watch it online 
that doesn't involve downloading some kind of virus-infested media player off of some weird website from Eastern Europe. You know what I mean? Um, and it's not on who, uh, Netflix yet, uh, season three. Um, or, yeah, so um, I'm out of the loop. Uh, uh, I already know what kind of happens with Merle just because uh, when that went down, like my Twitter and my Facebook feed was like just littered with people's responses to that episode and how Daryl had to kill his own brother after he turned into a zombie after Merle had his fingers bitten off by the governor. And, you know, it was like all these revealing sp like spoilers that um, I just could not avoid. So that's like the only thing I know that has happened since the last time I saw The Walking Dead. The last episode I saw of The Walking Dead was when the governor first attacked the prison and then they had that like ice cream truck that like rammed in through the gate and then um, they were in that grass area and then it just opened up and there was just like a bunch of zombies coming out. And then um, what's his name? Axel. Axel got shot right in the head by the governor with his, uh, what is that, like an AR-15 or something? I don't, I, I don't know what kind of weapon he has, but, um, and then, so he did an, a perfect headshot, the first shot, and then the remaining five minutes of the gunfight, he's just like a completely terrible shot, just like aiming in the air and like, <laughs> I'm shooting in the air, blah, 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 blah. And anyways, that, that was the last episode I saw um, back in February, so... I am out of the loop and I need to catch up because my Walking Dead um, fanaticism is in need of a fix. I need it. I need it now. Okay, well, anyways, I'm going to end it here for now. And then, um, you know, you guys can uh, stay tuned for the next video. And... Um, you know, I have many more videos coming soon, and um, I hope to continue to do this for quite some time. And uh, hopefully these are kind of entertaining for people. Um, if not, I'm so sorry that you just wasted like 10 minutes of your life uh, watching my dumb video. But uh, whatever, you know, uh, English teacher in Korea. Isn't that what everybody wants to see on YouTube nowadays or something? I don't know. Whatever. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I sound all jaded and stuff, but um, anyways, I'm going to end this here and then enjoy a beer and then fine-tune my lesson plan for tomorrow, and um, yeah, it should be a good day tomorrow. Hopefully, I can record in my school soon. I actually haven't asked my co-teacher if I'm allowed to do that or not. Like, I don't know what the ethics are. What is it ethically acceptable to do that, to record students? and uh, post them on YouTube doing whatever it is that they do. So um, just stay tuned and subscribe. If you have any questions about Korea, life in Korea, food, culture, whatever, um, and especially about uh, life as an English teacher, please uh, leave a comment or even better, a video response. And I promise you, I will reply back. If you send a video response, I will reply back with another video, like specifically addressing whatever your question is. So, um, yeah, let, you know, YouTube's a community of um, people who shoot videos and upload them. So shouldn't we be doing that anyways, right? Like when we do questions. All right, I'll catch you guys later. Take it easy. Bye. Have a good night.